Any thunderstorm can be hazardous to aviation, no matter what its size or intensity. Wind shear and turbulence pose the most significant hazard. Wind shear between adjacent updrafts and downdrafts imposes severe loading on the aeroplane's structure. Violent changes in attitude may induce a stall or a condition from which an attempted recovery may exceed the design limitations of the aeroplane. The outflow from the cloud's downdraft produces damaging winds on and near the ground. A microburst is the most violent form of wind shear produced by the cumulonimbus thunderstorm cloud. A microburst can severely affect the aeroplane's approach path when landing. Microbursts can be wet or dry. A gust front is the leading edge of the cold air outflow after a downdraft reaches the ground and spreads out. The gust front advances far and fast ahead of the thunderstorm in the same direction of its movement. Horizontal wind shear exists at ground level following the passage of the gust front. The front may be tens of kilometres ahead of the storm cell and the sudden change in the surface wind may take pilots by surprise. The change in the surface wind direction can be as much as 180 degrees and the speed can exceed 50 knots. A squall line is a multi-cell thunderstorm where the cells are arranged in a line. The adjacent cells form a continuous line of thunderstorms, accompanied by a strong and continuous surfaced gust front at the line's leading edge. Squall lines are dangerous to aeroplanes in flight since they present a wall of severe weather which is too wide, too high and too long to negotiate. Flying beneath the cloud is very dangerous due to the high probability of encountering strong downdrafts, hail, rain, poor visibility, severe turbulence and low cloud. Severe icing is a serious hazard to aeroplanes because it increases the stall speed, it can cause an engine failure and severe icing can reduce visibility. Thunderstorms are associated with the very dangerous clear ice that forms from large supercooled water droplets that exist in liquid form when surrounded by freezing air. Large hailstones from inside the cumulonimbus clouds can grow to the size of an orange. Such large hailstones can severely damage the airframe or cockpit windows, thus significantly reducing aeroplane performance and visibility. Lightning strikes can cause electrical damage, interfere with radio communications, and it can interfere with radio navigation instruments. The dangers to aviation from thunderstorms are not just inside or under the storm, but a long distance around it. Thunderstorms are best avoided by at least 10 to 20 miles. <laughs>